And you just uh, make sure your hands are washed before yeah. this. Yeah. Like in between these steps, you always wash your hands. Stay or even wear gloves <laughs> or. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> this is dirty. I mean, we're in the dirt. Mycelium, and actually, you can see that right here. Yeah, you see those threads? So, the, all those threads that are growing out are the results of um, yeah, two spores meeting, and now they're very strong. Yeah, so these are all of the, the different ones. So it's, this is just one, so it's like, it's like a spider web. It's all the same structure, but it just like roots, it just grows out. And as far as how mushrooms are related in human culture, and we, we, have, we have a really long history of relationships with mushrooms as human beings, but it's not doesn't mean we were culturing them. We've had agriculture for 10,000 years, 15,000 years. But mushrooms are picky. So we're going to get it. We spread the bottom layer. Now what if I were to make like all my garden beds? Can I do all my garden beds like yeah. this and then put plants on top? Great. Yeah, it's a great thing to do at the same time as you do a garden bed. I mean, Perfect. If, you have, if you get the grain spawn, and you can, it doesn't take up any extra room, yeah. it actually helps. You, the plants will actually do better with mushrooms going around than they would on their own. Wow. So take this. And then you spread it. Yeah, and we spread it all around. Wow. Make sure you get the corners too. And if you're using sawdust, because um, there's two kinds, right? You saw guys that we have the grain, the gandum, and the sawdust. Um, like I told you before, the grain is a little more easily contaminated than the sawdust. So this is great. This is better. That means we can use more with less chance of contamination. Okay. It's already been cleaned. It's already colonized. So it's probably not. No, once it's colonized by something, it's really hard for something else to get it. Yeah, like, yeah. There's already mycelium all over this, so it's not like a bacteria can just start living on it because it's already been eaten. It's got already like a defense. Exactly. Yeah. It's already claimed its uh, territory. Also, a really cool one, which is from the other side of the world, is these guys. This is, so these are obviously a psychoactive mushroom that they're talking about. The only like noteworthy mushrooms to draw paintings about 6,000 years ago. But you can actually see these guys running towards this pile of mushrooms. And you can't see it really well right here, but you see these mushrooms holding a mushroom with these little dots coming off of it. And those little dots make dotted lines that go into each of their heads. So you can really see they're like telling you like this mushroom is doing something weird in my head. Like they really wanted to like write this down. This is from the sawdust right? Bubuk kayu. Oh bubuk kayu. Ayo bekas bubur gaji ya gitu. You can also get the straw and chop it really fine and make your substrate on that. And that's uh, that would work really well too. Okay. Yeah, just really, really tiny. So it's like because when you're when you're trying to use something for a to spread, what you want is the most little points. Those mushrooms didn't really have a great habitat. They came from the north part of India. We have rhinos and zebras. Once we had cows, there were whole fields of grass food. And this mushroom exploded out of India, now you find it everywhere in the tropics. And so you could say it has a symbiotic relationship with humans. Um, so we have a long history with these kinds of mushrooms, and we still have a continuous history. There's another species that only grows in wood chips. And then um, there's a picture from the catacombs under Paris. So about the 1700s, we finally figured out with like a little bit more technique how you can make mushrooms grow. This mushroom grows in like compost, it's dirty. Dry straw. One kilogram makes how many kilograms of wet mushroom? Mm. And the answer to that is one kilogram of straw will make about 1.3 kilograms of mushroom. Mm -hmm. So it's a 130% efficiency. Is that over its entire six yes. months? Over the entire six ah, months. Ah, okay. Um, and so for uh, one cubic meter of straw, it weighs about 65 kilograms. 65? For one cubic meter, that's big. One so one, Yeah, so one barrel like that is like a quarter of a cubic meter. So let's say that weighs about if you fill it up with dry straw, about 20 kilograms of dry straw. Yeah, so normally it's quite good to leave the bark on. You don't want to take the bark off because it just helps keep the water in. Ah. It's like a concrete. It's like a metal bit. <laughs> yeah. Do you? I don't think it's a metal bit. I think it's a wood bit. We use this for a bamboo. No, that's like... That's like... Oh, it's a wood bit. Oh, that's a wood bit. Yeah. You kind of fill it in. We need the candles. And then it, just, it, it also wets the inside of it really nicely, mm -hmm. especially with hot water. So we'll get it. Out. Okay, 
second. This isn't getting anything else was growing Why out there. Why you off the top? Because remember, we're trying to minimize um, contamination. Maybe there was a mold or bacteria on the top layer. It, the top is the most likely to get infected. This was all sterilized in a pressure cooker. This bottom part is totally clean. Top part is probably clean because this is a, a bacteria-proof filter. But in case there was a problem, start off the top layer. Start from the next layer down. Push it in there nice and tight. So it's around two two and a half centimeters. Use the fork. Use the fork there. So it's around two centimeters full. Yeah, about two, about two centimeters packed. Half centimeter. Right? Yeah, about half centimeter from the top. Is it already? You have to crush it first. Although it, it helps if you crush it, yeah. Oh, okay. It's Instead not a huge deal, but it is better just because there's more. Whenever when you break it apart, if it just grows for a long time and nothing changes, it can get real lazy. When it breaks into a lot of little pieces, <laughs> it's kind of reinvigorate. It's like, oh, I gotta make, I gotta spread more, and so you kind of trigger it to start growing into a lot. I think it's enough. Half. Yeah, no, it's perfect. So once you use it, you can keep it for another time. Um, you, you. you can. The first mushroom is too small. It depends on the kind of wood that you're using. Okay. Um, for this method, it might take up to four months. Is that getting there? Yeah, it's not hot. Maybe stuff this guy a bit more. Yeah, this is going to let it die out. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to do that. Do you want it to drain a little bit? It should be if you hold some in your hand. I'm taking some out so it'll cool down so we can use it. Um, so when you take in your hand and squeeze it, if you squeeze it really hard. You should maybe get like one or two drops. Like that's that's a good moisture level. So you don't want it to be super drippy and you don't want it to be drier than that. Let's kind of swing it over in there. All right. Yeah, Thanks, down. brother. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're falling back here. This gonna be the site. Oh, yeah, so usually this cardboard, we use it to cover oh. the ground. Um, you can also, so you get this, I use it to, I put it on top of the steamer as it's almost done and let it get hot from the steam. You, kind of, you want to pasteurize this too. So kind of just put it over the water, let it get nice and hot. Here's the density of... <laughs> And you just put like another layer to make sure nice. you can use these without having to use anything else. And you want to water this maybe once every few days? Yeah, yeah. you want it to, You don't want it to dry out. Calcium hydroxide, lime. Oh, oh, oh lime. Yeah, they right. actually, you know beetle nut? Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Uh, this is this this nut that they put lime inside and they chew it, turns their teeth red. Oh, wow. It kind of gives you a high. It's pretty fun.